Hi, I'm Manoj Malde. I'm here at RHS Bridgewater in Salford. It's my first time that I'm coming here and I'm dead excited. I'm going to be shown around by the lovely Simone and she's going to show me this incredible kitchen garden with all the wonderful edibles from around the world. So we've got loads of fruit trees uh, throughout um, but it's coming to the time of year where these are all gonna obviously needs a little bit of a trim now it's yes. going to pruning season for the apples our apprentices have each taken a bed so we had really nice little three sisters going on through here and uh -huh. it's actually added some amaranth uh, since as well uh, since like the kind of sweet corn's gone over um, there's quite a lot of uranium planting through here or the oh, that is really yes. scented isn't it beautiful isn't it and I I guess this is oregano. Isn't yes, it? it looks like an oregano, yeah. certainly. And that, I mean, if you've got really quite poor soil, yep. oregano is really quite easy to yeah. grow, isn't yeah. it? We've got another student bed, so we've got some different types of basils kind of going through here. So some Thai basils, uh -huh. red basil, licorice. Um, nice. through here so yeah quite quite a different bed going through there and then obviously more kind of like traditional i suppose uh for this country there's our brassicas looking at going through into the winter and look at the color of that isn't that absolutely isn't it stunning gorgeous? yeah and how it's just like caught all the water yeah. you want to um, you know, like even if you're flower arranging you would yeah. want to put a few of those in yeah you? it's a be amazing. beautiful nasturtium yeah are edible oh, a beautiful salad. tasting Fantastic. as well. You know, add, yeah. a, add a pop of colour into your salad. Yeah. This this is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's like just... peppery rocket. Uh, so we come through to the Run Bean Tunnel. Uh, so we've got lots of different varieties going on here, and these really just kind of coming into their stride now. Um, you know, we can't even keep up with the harvest. Yeah. They're just they're that prolific. And again, I think the flowers on these are just are great, beautiful. Aren't they? I mean, look again, the colour that you're getting yeah, through the flowers is, is incredible. Yeah. I do like the um, the French beans, the, the, yeah. the thin ones, because yes. I use them a lot in cooking as well. Yeah, actually, if you're growing them from seed and you have too many plants, isn't it great to be able to share with friends as yeah. well? Yeah. Swaps. Absolutely. That's what gardening's about. Yeah. It's so you talk about community, isn't it? It really brings people That's together. That's it, yeah. Yeah. I love this. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It is nice. It's nice that actually, <laughs> like, I almost feel that you've created a screen for privacy here yeah, as well. Yeah. So if you wanted to do that, if you wanted to create a bit of privacy in your garden, yeah. why not do it like this, yeah. you know? Simon, thank you so much for taking me around RHS Bridgewater, in particular the kitchen garden. So fascinating to come here and have a look around at what these guys are doing. Full of ideas. I am going to be nicking some of those <laughs> and taking them home with me. But my goodness, what an incredible garden. And it just shows that we can grow ornamentals with our edibles. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.